Hello, my name is Richard Harbage, and I'm excited to tell you about a workshop that's happening at SharePoint Fest Chicago. But before I do that, what is SharePoint Fest Chicago in case you've just heard of it? SharePoint Fest Chicago is this wonderful, wonderful event that brings a lot of thought leaders across the industry all together uh, to discuss what's happening in SharePoint, what's happening in Office 365, and how organizations are succeeding in this space. Um, my, my name is Richard Harbridge. I'm an MVP, uh, Chief Technology Officer for a company called Tutelead, and I'm actually going to cover quite a few sessions. I'm going to be talking about personalizing and improving your Office 365 digital workplace, um, intranets and digital hubs, uh, and uh, improving adoption. But in addition to these three sessions that you can go and hear me speak about and we can learn together, there's also going to be a workshop that I'm conducting. And that workshop is uh, called Strategy and Success, Practical Tools and Techniques for the Strategist, Architect, and Analyst. And I'm really excited about this workshop because I've, I've done this a couple times in the past. And this one is, uh, you know, you learn more and more tools uh, and techniques over your, your work. And I've been working in this space as an analyst, an architect, a strategist, and more for many, many years. And so there's a ton of things that I'd like to share with you guys to try and focus it down. I've spent a lot of effort trying to prepare for this um, half day workshop where we're going to dig in to a lot of the guidance that I can share with you uh, in a couple different areas. We're going to talk about aligning with the Microsoft roadmap, which is actually something that um, isn't just looking at the Microsoft roadmap and understanding it, but there's more to it, like understanding how user voice and other things help you identify gaps in the roadmap and how you can align it both from a uh, practical standpoint for your own career and development to the organizational alignment uh, for the way you're going to use these different things from SharePoint to the broader um, ecosystem of products and suites that connect to SharePoint today because of course those are going to be relevant to you. Then we're going to talk about planning and implementing for scale. This is going to be really interesting for a lot of the architects whether you're an information architect or a technical architect. Um, it's going to be really helpful to talk about how do other organizations uh, plan and, and implement for scale. So we'll talk about how to deal with a growing sprawl of sites and in particular when we use things like Microsoft Teams um, is a huge informa information architecture impact that Microsoft Teams provides. We can even talk about uh, the different ways that you can connect these different experiences whether it's Yammer communities to Microsoft Teams. So there's lots to talk about in that category of discussion. In addition to that we'll have a facilitated dialogue around the industry trends and specifically trying to make some of these industry trends more actionable for your organization. So we'll talk about um, practical ways ways to create alignment, understanding about these industry trends in the organization, and then plan for them in, in a, using a couple techniques, uh, some templates and other things that I'll be providing. Then we're going to talk about proactive planning, uh, you know, essentially building roadmaps and how important it is to have a proactive roadmap that's not just for this core element of SharePoint like your intranet, but perhaps for extranets, for search, for a variety of other circumstances. So we'll talk about that in depth um, as well. And you'll have tools and, and techniques that will help you build your own roadmaps or help facilitate their creation within your organization. And of course, we could never have a great workshop without lots of lots of cases and examples and best practices. So we're going to be going through tons and tons of different examples. I'm just going to show a couple uh, here, like how to build good personas and why personas are important and how this can actually be very actionable and shouldn't just be an exercise, but that you actually use these things and keep them up to date. Or how card sorting, you know, which has been a technique for a long time with open and closed card sorting, like how that can be rationalized and used um, and we can even use techniques like using planner and other things to conduct card sorting today or um, how you know using mind mapping and other techniques can help visualize key concepts uh, and help plan for things like content type and, and uh, information architecture models and things like that. And we'll even talk through some Excel templates and homework assignments and other techniques that we use when working with customers today. So I hope that this is interesting to you and that you'll be uh, kind enough to come join me in one of the sessions at SharePoint Fest uh, Chicago. And if you're just hearing about this and you missed the event or um, you're interested in any of this kind of content, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, it's really easy to get hold of me or look for me at an event near you. Bye for now.